Hey friends and neighbors, this is Chuck out at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. And we're in the truck today, um, again. So, Sandra and I are going uh, across the state line up to uh, Martinsville, Virginia, to Rural King, looking for chicks. Now, if you've been following along in the news and some different Facebook groups and farming groups and that kind of thing, you probably are guessing why we're going to look for chicks. So. Come along with us, let's go see if we can find what we're looking for, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about what's going on with the Postal Service. Y'all seen the problems we've had. What's going on with the Postal Service, shipping of live animals, um, what's what's happening, and I, more importantly, what I think may be happening. So uh, stick around with us for a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six Cornish cross rollers. Barn rocks. We got some ice and brown older chicks. Three bucks, but no real. We got like six rollers. Uh, not what we were hoping for. I think this is going to be a problem. few chickens. Looks like 99? 99. 99 chickens. 99 pullets. No meat birds. No meat birds. They had like six meat birds in the place. So probably gonna be glad we got these because I'm guessing based on what's going on in a few days these are probably gonna be difficult to find too. So how's that for a purchase? Um, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> yeah. So we ended up buying 99 egg layers. Um, they didn't have, well, they had six meat chickens in the whole place. Um, but they had a bunch of these older chicks that were starting to feather out. There's some Isa Browns, Production Red, and Bard Rock. And there were a few, looked like Americanas or something. In one of the uh, in one of the feed bins that they had, so we got 99 new egg laid chickens. So we gotta get these babies home, get them in the brooder. We're in the truck and got the heat turned up. They should be fine. Hope they don't bunch up in the corner too bad. But uh, we're gonna hustle up and get these babies home.
we beat the post office. 99 shipped and 99 alive. So they're kind of cold. We're going to get the lid down, get the um, get a blanket, quilt, a tarp, or something over top of the front of this uh, over front of this brooder, and uh, let these guys settle in, and they should be fine. So 99 chicks got them home. Let's talk about why we went and bought all these birds. So why did we go looking for meat chickens at a box rural supply store today? Well, first off, kind of set the stage for you. If y'all remember, a couple weeks ago, we had some turkeys come in and we ordered 30 turkeys. When we got here, five of them were dead, another 15 died over the course of the next uh, 12 hours or so because those birds were delayed in shipment through the postal service. Luckily, the Hoover Hatchery was very nice about it. They gave us a refund for the 20 that we lost. Last week, um, and I'm going to post a, a, an infographic. I'll post it here on the screen. The U.S. Postal Service sent out a memo saying that they were extending. At first, I didn't know there was one, but they were extending a hold or an embargo on the shipment of lives, meaning live birds. They were extending that shipment through this coming Friday, February 26. We are expecting some meat chickens here on the farm via the U.S. Postal Service on Wednesday of this week. So we don't think we're going to get them. The reason that's important is we had a pasture poultry processing class that we had planned and scheduled that was dependent upon those birds being here this week for appropriate grow out time to have them ready to go on the date that we had set the class for. So we're not sure that the birds are even going to come. I've canceled that class. I put a hold on that class for now until we see if we get any birds, which I'm skeptical. But that's why we went looking for birds today. But it raises a couple of other questions. If the Postal Service is going to stop a ship on live birds, um, and we needed some more egg layers anyway, um, why not go ahead and get some more egg layers? Well, while we were there at the, at the Rural King, um, they had a bunch of older chicks that looked like they were probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks old. The lady at the in the chick department made us a super deal on a hundred or excuse me on 99 chicks. So we just went ahead and bought them while we we're there. We needed them anyway, and we don't know if we're going to be able to get them. Raises a couple of bigger questions too, in that our farms and farmers going to be able to get chicks, turkey poults, ducklings, goslings, all that kind of thing, in the coming weeks. Now the postal service excuse right now is they're putting a hole because of temp cold temperatures, cold weather, and, that, and all the, the bad weather storms that we've been having. I totally get that. But also, the postal service is way behind. There's a lot of mail sitting in those distribution centers that has been delayed for days, weeks, sometimes even months from some folks that I've talked to that have been expecting some things and, and they're not getting it. They're getting stuff that's been mailed to them, you know, six weeks after it's been mailed. So, I think the Postal Service is probably using this as an opportunity to um, catch up on some of that backlog of mail and packages that are sitting in their um, in their distribution centers. Now, what's going to happen to your local tractor supply, your local Rural King, your local around here at Southern States, whatever the, the feed and seed store is in your neighborhood where you can get chicks through the spring if the Postal Service decides to extend this out or what's going to happen, you know, especially if you're if you're used to getting these birds, volumes of these birds for your farm um, via the postal service. I don't know. It, it's it's to be seen. Uh, I certainly hope we don't get into a situation like we did last year in 2020 with a lot of the processing plants reducing or even stopping production um, because of uh, staff being out sick with COVID. And then you know we saw and heard stories of. of baby pigs being euthanized and houses full of chick chickens uh, being euthanized because the processing plants just couldn't manage them. And then, you know, we saw a glut on, uh, on some of these CAFO pigs that were kind of flooding into the, into the local market. So I talked about that in a video right here. If you've not seen that video, go back and check that one out. Um, last year was an interesting year. I hope we're not heading down the same road uh, this year in terms of farms and farmers and some of the issues that we ran into on the negative side last year. But time will tell. Also, if you're not subscribed, I'm going to post the link to the subscription uh, button right there. Click on that thing. Follow along with us. we got a ton of stuff going on. Weather's warming up. Days are getting longer. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks.